Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Vivi. Today's video is a bit more serious one. It's another dissociative identity disorder behind the scenes video. And it contains more footage of how authors react to flashbacks, physical reactions to PTSD. It's something that's very personal and yet it's still something that's important to be shared because otherwise others may not be able to see these things or learn something more. It's just real pretty, um, it's hard to describe. I just hope that you take the trigger warning seriously. We don't want anyone to feel bad after watching these. Please take care of yourself and make sure that you're safe with watching this. But let's get started. to tell you I rarely um strongly affected by PTSD or flashbacks but I have a strong connection with a lot of alters and I often really feel or sense how others are doing as well as if there's mess in our headspace or if another alter gets triggered it's um pr pretty easy for me to to feel what they feel so if I, I don't know all the, the triggers, of course, because I don't know all of our alters or all of what they've been through. If anyone gets triggered, I There is a reason why I want to share these moments. There is a reason why we upload these videos even if they repeat. 
repeat themselves just like flashbacks do or like flashbacks can do I'm sorry Switching when I trigger it is super painful. If not, if the mess is triggered, uh -huh. we are going through flashbacks that also affect the body. Um, it's really, really painful to switch. It's not feeling right. It's like someone spinning a wheel and like forcing you to be out and then just pulls you back in and then pushes you out again. It's like being thrown and pushed and pulled. I'm not sure it would or where Isa stopped. <laughs> Sharing these moments. Hello, my name is Akuma. I am the gatekeeper of our system. I've talked to you some times already. I've probably never been this awake. It's just that right now I need to use all of my energy to kind of get this mess under control. It's important to make others see how PTSD can affect one. Dissociative identity disorder is a survival mechanism. It is made to protect. It is made to help one survive. But that doesn't mean that other alters feel like they survived. There are alters that were created to hold the trauma and no matter how rude or mean it sounds, that an altar was created to suffer just for someone to be able to survive. It was necessary and it doesn't mean that they are less valid, less worthy, less important. Every altar is important and every altar deserves to be loved and every altar deserves to be happy. I hold trauma. I have or do experience flashbacks. I have a big role, a lot of knowledge about our system. I'm aware of the things I have sacrificed making sure that we can survive, that Isa can survive, to make sure and to take care of the altars that were hurt, even though they experienced the situation after these situations. I kept them in our system. I keep them near my heart and it's hard to see them suffer. It 
was hard to see them suffer. And I'm very sorry if you have the ID and if you are an altar that feels like the world is against you. I felt like that a long time. I still do sometimes. But you play such an important role. And you are needed. You are so important to the rest of your system. It is important to know that each altar has a role, that each altar is equally important to the system, whether they are a protector, a persecutor protector, a trauma holder, a gatekeeper, the core, a host, or a little, whether they are human or not, whether they are happy or not. Every altar is important and no altar deserves to suffer. No one deserves to suffer. Not you, not your friends, not your family, not your system. And we also don't deserve to suffer, yet we still do. It's a part of life. It's a part that is cruel, but you can learn to live through these times. These times seem endless. These times can last for a long, long time. But there is always light. There's always light in the dark and it's important for you to not give up, never give up. If you can't see the morning, if you are too tired to keep walking because you fall down, because you don't know where to go, then take a break. Take a break from going. But just remember that there will be a path. You don't have to go and look for it right away. But you can look up to the sky Take a break, look for the stars, and maybe they can guide you. Our stars are other systems on social media, systems that make us feel that we are not alone, people that keep us distracted, friends that we hold very, very close to our heart, and you guys, we never, never thought that there are people that tell us we can make them happy a bit that there are people 
that are interested in our stories. It's just something that keeps us going. And if we can be like that to just one person, one system, our role is fulfilled.